imitation or flattery or laziness. Keep watching. Yes, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. This is a summary video review. If you look at the link below the video, go to the website, you find a lot more information about this model. All my other reviews are linked there too. And also you'll see some links as to where you can donate. If you want to say thank you to got a ukulele, help it keep going, because that's the only reason I can do this, because I don't take money from the brands. Um, and that's why there's thank yous run across the bottom of the screen every week. My eternal thanks to those people who are helping bring this content your way. And you can also help by subscribing to the YouTube channel, you know what to do, the button's down there, that would help me out as well. Okay, we'll come on to what that introduction was about in a moment, but this is a brand I featured several times before. They're kind of a, a sort of journeyman brand, they've, they've been around for a while, they make pretty reliable instruments, inoffensive instruments. I've never found one that's been a real howler, but they've always kind of, I've always found them a little bit bland a little bit unexciting. I mean, reliable, they do the job, but nothing much to scream and shout about. I don't think you could say that about the looks on this one. <laughs> this is their new Cordoba 15CM Matisse, Matisse um, concert. And uh, the reason for that introduction, this is the Inui Inui Color series, which people know that I raved about quite so much. Um, Make your own minds up. I've commented before where brands have um, taken inspiration or used the design of something that has already been successful before. People point out to me that I get too agitated about it. And in the guitar world, this has happened for years. Guitars have, have mimicked each other. And that's absolutely true. But I would just say this. I think it's lazy. I think it shows a lack of original thought. I knew we knew we got there with that. And this is not the only brand to have used that concept, but this is the same. It's a concert scale instrument with a painted colored top, unfinished wooden back and sides. Comes in a range of different colors that also match the, well, the, the new and new colors are more Pantone, more pastel colors. These are brighter, but there's a blue, there's a yellow, there's a, you know, you get the idea. The difference between the Inui Inui is this is not a solid spruce top underneath that paint. The whole thing in this one is laminate. I can't tell how many pieces are in the top because of the paint. The sides are this unpour filled satin finished laminate mahogany. Uh, two pieces there, you can see that. I suspect it's two pieces on the top as well. So this is all laminate. The Inui Inui had a solid top. But otherwise, it's very similar, cream edge binding as well. The bridge, made of maple. It's a tie bar style fitted with a straight top composite saddle. Um, I find this kind of rough and unfinished. It needs oil on it or something. This is like bare wood. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, the flat finish on the top is done well. Cream binding is done well. We've got a sound hole rosette here as well. I would say that that top looks rather thick um, inside. Fairly unimaginative, well, fairly standard, that's unfair. Notch linings, tapered braces, not a great deal of mess at all. Um, all very, very similar satin finish to the body, as I said. The neck here is made of mahogany, three pieces, pretty ugly joint at the heel, but there's a hidden, well hidden joint up at the headstock. It tapers down to a fairly round profile with a 35 mil nut width, 27 G to A, which is very average, not really my cup of tea, but there we are. Finished in a maple fingerboard like the Inui Inui is, I mean, almost identical to the Inui Inui, but the Inui Inui had a smoother finish to it. This is better than the bridge. Uh, but it still feels a little bit unfinished. Edge bound down the sides, as you will see, which hides the fret ends, 18 of those, 14 to the body. Uh, no sharp fret ends because of that. Uh, very nicely dressed, actually. Position dots face out at five, seven, 10, and 12. You also get black dots on the side as well. Uh, composite nut, set up on this, little bit high for me, but uh, within tolerable limits. Up to the usual a new uh, Cordoba, Headstock shape, which is very Canalea-esque, but they've had it for years, faced in more maple. I don't know what that logo is, because I can't find that within the Cordoba logo anywhere. I don't know what it represents. It's also on the bag that it comes with. Um, it's all right, it's inoffensive, but I think it looks a bit childlike. I don't know what it is. Uh, the tuners are unbranded gears. Um, thankfully, not the ones Cordoba used to use with the enormous white buttons. They've shrunk the buttons down, although the tuner gears 
a far cry from the ones on the Anui Nui, frankly. Uh, quite jumpy and, ch and jerky when you tune them. It comes with a set of Aquila strings. It comes with a padded gig bag, really nice quality gig bag, actually nice handles and, and whatnot on it that matches the color of the instrument that you've bought. And the price, surprise, surprise, very similar to the price of the Anuinu, about 130 quid on the street in the UK. Now, it's a bit of a moot point making this comparison because it's very hard to find those Anuinu colors now, and I don't even know whether they're still on, on, for sale. But they were, and I love them, and you might probably still get them on the used market. But there's no getting away from the fact this is where, it's, is it a homage, a homage? Is it just influenced by, or is it just laziness? I'm with the laziness category. Let's get in and play it though. It feels all right. It's nice and light, 490 grams. Um, balance is okay. I can't find any build flaws with it. Um, let's have a play. As I said, don't like these tuners. Quite jerky. And obviously I will do your side by side with the uh, Anui Nui. Okay, volume first of all. All right, it's all right. Not the loudest instrument I've played. It's all right. I think the new new has got more bark. Yeah, it's all right. Sustain to about there. Again, not too bad. I think it sounds a little bit muted, a little bit throttled, like almost like you've got a cloth stuck in there. Um, hard to describe. All right. Finger pick. going off up. I think that's because the saddle's a bit high. Like there's a, a bigger instrument in there wanting to get out. I've got to do the comparison, haven't I? So the new new crisper. the new and new but it's it works it's a passable as an as an instrument as i say you probably can't find those in new and now anyway it's a bit of a moot point so it works it just if this one had come along first and i'd never seen that before and cordoba stole the march and created this you know how much i was raving about these i bought two i've got the blue one as well there i like those in new and new so much they impress me so much with the crisp real great attack they've got and really really well made 
Um, if this brand had come along first and done the concept, I don't think I'd be raving about them. I don't think I'd, bu I'd have bought two. I don't think I'd have kept one. Um, because this just hasn't wowed me as much. And I think that probably goes back to the point I made about Cordoba, which is there's not a huge amount wrong with them. And they're a very reliable little brand. Certainly better than a lot of the junk that's out there. But they just make me go... Mm. Whereas the Inui really just <laughs> made me wake up and I bought two of them because I loved it so much. So it's not, the comparison is kind of irrelevant actually. Um, I don't think this is a patch on the Inui Nui version. Um, it's just that it didn't wow me in the way that that one did and I think that speaks volumes. The Cordoba 15CM Matiz, Matiz um, which is also the name of a car from South Korea in UK circles that, that they used to make anyway. I digress. Cordoba 15CM Matisse concert, all laminate mahogany with these painted coloured tops, about 130 quid. Um, there we are. Not, I'm not telling you not to get it. Um, just not a wowzer for me. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I must learn to start looking at the lens of the camera and not into the screen at the side, I'm afraid. It's really, really hard. Um, anyway, I may well see you midweek because I've got a couple of small guitars downstairs that need to be looked at if I have the time. got a very busy week ahead. Otherwise, back at the weekend with something that is really, really exciting me. I'm very, very lucky to have had it sent over. Um, surprised to have had it sent over. It's come halfway around the world. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Thank you very much for your ongoing support and um, kind words, etc. And I hope you have a very good week. Look after each other. Take care. See you all very soon. Bye-bye.